Hello guys, this is Dobson Ishmael. Version 14 of WYSIWYG Web Builder comes with a whole new set of icons that you can include or use in your project. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to install some of those icons and then use in your own project. Now to get started, I'm going to show you some of the set of icons that is already or by default comes with WYSIWYG Web Builder. Now when you come to the toolbox and search for icon, so I have font awesome icon and then there's icon font now when i click on font awesome icon this brings me back to the default font awesome icon which has existed and then in version 11 and version 12. now this is just the normal icons i can select any of the icons i have in here and then go ahead and use it now i'm going to go ahead and cancel this and then come back to my toolbox and then the second option is icon font now i'll draw that here and then when I double click on this, so this happens to be the material icons um, by Google. When I click on the drop down arrow, that's the only option I have in here. Now we can actually install a lot of icons that we can use in our project. Now let's see how best to go about that. First of all, I'm going to open my browser and then you are supposed to go to this address. That's wizywigwebbuilder.com slash fiestras.html. When you scroll down a bit, there is the icon font section where you get to download any of the icons that is in here. So I have already downloaded a couple of them. I'm going to go ahead to go to my downloads. And then what I'm going to do is to extract my downloads to their respective folders. And then when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead to install these icons I have downloaded. So I'm going to start with the first one. And then this is just a setup wizard. So if I double click on this, that is going to ask me whether I want to install this. I go ahead and agree. It gives me the wizard. I choose my destination. So I'm not going to change the destination. I'm going to leave this to the default. I'll go ahead, hit on next, hit on next. And then this is done. So let me just go ahead to confirm that my icon has truly been installed. So I'm going to open my application. I'm going to close this. I'm not going to save this and then I'm going to reopen it. So I'm going to open my Wizard Web Builder version 14 again and then verify that my icon, that is the one I just installed, has been actually installed. So I'll come back to my toolbox and then I'm going to search for icon. So let me just search for icon font. I'm going to draw here and I'll go ahead and double click on this. Now, when I come to the icon library section, I click on the drop down arrow and as you can see, I have my drip icons in here. Now, when I select that, I can come to the icon section and select any of the icons that I would like to use in my project. So that is how you can go about installing new icons on version 14 of WYSIWYG Web Builder. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.